Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I've got another new Utah feature and it is catalog builder in Utah, but it looks a little different because it got the next experience look and feel. You can see it here behind me. Functionally, there's not much changes, but colors and fonts and appearance all got the next experience. You can even see the new logos and stuff like that just behind my head. We've got a, a dog with some flowers and a butterfly. Um, so definitely it's got that next experience look and feel, but it's always a good idea to revisit how awesome and important Catalog Builder is. Um, there is a deprecation in the Utah release. If you're using Item Designer, that is being end of life. Uh, retired. So Item Designer, as of Utah, is going away. They want you to start using Catalog Builder. So let's take a look at what Catalog Builder is. We have my PDI here, default login page for Catalog Builder, and you can see I can start creating a new catalog item, start creating a template, and just above my head there you can see the recent things that someone came in here and updated if you needed to get back to something really quickly. But let's take a look at what catalog items look like in Catalog Builder. You essentially get a list for you to look at, and if I click on one here, we'll click on Travel Request, we can see all the details for that particular catalog item. So basic info, item details, the destination of it, the location, what catalogs is it going to live in, what categories does it have, the questions that are on the form for the catalog item, any settings, access, and uh, there's one more I think when we're actually doing one, but let's take a look at catalog item templates. We have a template for standard items in the service catalog. Again, that same review here. We got action items at the top to new to uh, create a new one, to edit, to update, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and go back to that dashboard and see about the experience of creating a new catalog item. Now remember, this isn't just meant for admins. It's meant for you to delegate permission to other people in your organization to develop catalog items. Let's take this off of the admins and let's wrap a workflow around it. So here you can see at some point we're going to pick out a template we're going to add some details we're going to add a location that's going to live in we're going to ask some questions we're going to set the settings this is a typo this should be access not assess maybe i'll get it fixed with general availability and then we'll talk about fulfillment and then you submit and when you submit and you can't see it it's just behind my head when you submit a catalog item you can have a workflow associated with that in order to manage how that catalog item is created let's go ahead and continue here and we'll continue the process of creating a catalog item and you see I get to pick from a template and these can be controlled about what people can use, what people can see. And then once I've done that, got to move my head again, we can preview the template details and say, yep, that's all the stuff I want for my catalog item. I'm going to use this item template and now it's going to bring up everything you need. I'm going to keep my head right here because what's in the middle isn't as important as the step-by-step -step nature you see here above my head. The details, the location, the questions, what we were seeing in the right-hand panel, that way, um, when I was going through the preview, is now showing in the left-hand panel, and I can click my way through it so I can look at the details, I can look at the location, uh, questions, settings, access, etc. And I have a really helpful navigation or a guide over to the right letting me know what I should be doing in each step of this. So let's go look at location. You can see there my service catalogs, my categories, and it explains there on the right where this will live. The questions, uh, this is the standard employee questions, when you need it, who's it for, and if I had permissions, I could add a new question here. The settings for this particular one, this is how it appears on the portal, whether you're gonna hide or show buttons. The access, remember I said this would be access, not SS. Who's it available for, who's it not available for. The fulfillment details, what flow is it gonna run? Is it gonna use Flow Designer? Is it gonna use the uh, Flow Engine? And if it's using Flow Designer, well, what flow is it going to use? And of course, they only see what they have permission to actually see there. And again, over on the right, there's an explanation of what we're doing. And then the last piece to review and submit. Um, let me look over all the details that I just configured for my catalog item. Hit submit, and then that'll go off to its approval process. So the takeaway here for Utah, upgraded experience font colors. It follows the theme if you're putting a theme inside of your instance. So this will follow the theme now. It won't be something separate. And it has that next experience in Utah. But it's worth mentioning again, start using Catalog Builder. If you're using Item Designer, it's time to move away from it. It's going to be end of life soon. They're now set for Utah. So get you and your team inside Catalog Builder 
and democratize the building of catalog items so that you can have more and have what people need in your platform and ready for people to use and make requests. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in how to create catalog items easier in something like Catalog Builder in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning. <laughs>